Hey guys, and welcome back to Mindy's Coral Reef. I'm Mindy, and today I'm here to talk to you about the NIOS Quantum 220 and 160 protein skimmers. In some of my most recent posts, you might have seen that I've been sharing everyone my complete sump upgrade on my 90 gallon seahorse tank. And you might have also seen my 220 gallon that's next on my list of things I need to get going. And with these projects that I have, I've been replacing my old skimmers with the new NIOS Quantum 160 and the 220. So far, I've been running the 160 in my 90 gallon seahorse tank, and I have to say that I'm quite impressed by many of the different features. So I'm gonna give you a complete rundown of the NIOS Quantum 220 and the 160. So don't you go anywhere. Although this video is on the NIOS Quantum 220 and 160, which is rated for up to 500 gallons and 250 gallons, the skimmer comes in two other sizes, the 120 and the 300. So there are other models for smaller and larger systems than the ones I have. As you can see, it comes in a beautifully modern design box, built to impress, but also well packaged to completely protect the product. I believe it reflects the quality of the company. Inside, there's four main components, the collection cup, the bubble plate, the needle wheel pump, and the skimmer body. Along with two easy to understand guides to help you with putting everything together, it took me about three minutes in total. So trust me, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to get this skimmer moving. First, remove all the screws from the skimmer's base. This can be done easily with a coin, or in my case, I just grab my screwdriver. Remove the skimmer body. You'll need to remove two screws from the pump mount and then slide the pump in with the cord facing the slot in the base. Replace the arm and tighten the screws back in. Fit the base plate above the pump and then screw the gray collar on the pump outlet. Place the washer on the post along with the diffuser plate and then tighten down the screws. Place the skimmer body back onto the base with the control valve over the cord slot. Replace the four screws on the base. After that, push in the nozzle and then connect this to the muffler with one of the silicone tubes. Replace the collection cup and you're all done. As you can see, this is a beautifully designed piece of equipment. The majority of the skimmer is made of thick, high quality acrylic and the screws are pure titanium so you don't need to worry about them rusting in the salt water. Place your new skimmer in the desired location of the sump with the water level approximately eight inches. The first thing that I noticed was that the skimmer was very quiet, definitely compared to the other skimmers that I've used in the past. Noise has always been a nuisance for me that I've never been able to get away from. You can also clearly see how well the skimmer works by how smooth it operates while watching the fine micro bubbles move to the top and they start collecting immediately. I'm quite impressed, since it's definitely changed the viewing experience of my tank. Also, the power consumption is considerably better than my previous skimmer with just 22 watts. To set up the skimmer, all you need to do is first open the water level control tube, which is the slot at the lower end of the tube points in the direction of the skimmer, and the micro adjustment screw opened completely. Open the air adjustment screw turn it counterclockwise, and then turn on the skimmer. Close the micro adjustment screw by turning it toward close until the water level or the water foam threshold is approximately at the level of the bayonet joint. When it comes to selecting the right skimmer, it's generally accepted that the bigger the skimmer, the better. However, that isn't the only thing to consider. What's more important is what your plans are in regards to the amount of fish you'll be stocking and your nutrient input. The quality of the skimmer is also just as important as the size. To recognize a high quality skimmer, you're looking for one which creates the smallest possible bubbles. The smaller the bubbles, the larger the surface area, which allows waste to stick to them and then it's eventually moved from the collection cup. The bubble should also completely fill out the whole skimmer body, whereas skimmers which only have a small amount of bubbles won't skim properly. Once it's installed, it's then time to wait. Skimmers take time to break in and to essentially lose some of their newness. This is so a slime coat can build up inside. Although this can take several weeks, I was surprised to see a thick waste being produced just after 48 hours. If your skimmer starts to overflow, don't worry, as this can be a common problem. 
Just lower the water level. If that doesn't make a difference, it may be caused by excessive amount of nutrients from food and additives. So try reducing those for a couple days. Also, if the skimmer doesn't skim, this can be caused by excessive amount of fatty additives, or there's also the chance that the nutrient levels in your tank, they're not high enough and there's nothing left to skim. All right, to sum up everything that we just went over, the Nio skimmer is definitely built to last. It's basically silent and it has lower power consumption than any of the other skimmers that I've ever used. And they're definitely easy on the eyes. So I am very happy with my selection. And if you have a Nio skimmer at home, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Again, thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave any comments or questions that you have below in the comment section. Again, thank you, and I'll see you guys in my next video.